Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. I am so excited we are bringing it back to our roots here on my channel. I'm doing a concealer contest. You guys know when I first started my channel and I do this like sporadically, I like to do a lot of this versus that videos, at least that's what I call them. So I take two products, I put them to the test, I wear them at the exact same time. So today I am bringing you my most recent concealer contest. The Morphe Full Coverage Fluidity Concealer to the Shiseido, I can never remember the name of this. This is the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. So I'm wearing the Morphe right now on this side and I am wearing the Shiseido on this side. So we are doing an affordable versus a high-end concealer. This one retails for $9. This one is around like $30, $31. I will put the prices of this one and then this one on the screen. It's 2020 guys and like it is at least for me the year of the wedding. So I have a lot of battles, a lot of product wars, a lot of this versus that videos coming to you because I myself am doing my own makeup on my wedding day and I'm trying to find the best of the best products. So right now I'm seriously on the hunt for what concealer and what foundation I'm going to be wearing the day of my wedding because those are like the big ones. Like those are like the ones that matter the most, like at least to me. Now, whoever wins this battle is not necessarily going to win the war. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. Whoever wins this battle doesn't necessarily mean I'm wearing them on my wedding day. I know this is kind of getting a little confusing, but I have so much product. Like I have so many products and I have other things that I want to put to the test, like other concealers that I want to put to the test. So this is probably going to be the one of like maybe two or maybe three concealer contests. So if you're interested to see which one wins this particular battle, then just keep on watching. This is going to be a full day wear test. I'm wearing these products for at least a minimum of 10 hours. I am going to work today. I want to incorporate like more every day, like your average, not average. I feel like average is such like a crap word, but I want to incorporate more videos for like your everyday woman or like your everyday man, like who goes to work, you work nine to five, you want to know what products are going to get you through the day and then into the night, say if you have drinks or after work events. But before we do go ahead and get into it, I just want to give you a quick and friendly reminder if you are not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you and also click the bell button next to the subscribe button because it's not enough to just be subscribed. YouTube is now doing like the same Instagram algorithm. Guess is what you want to see based on views. If you know you want to watch my videos, hit the bell button next to subscribe because then YouTube will just be forced to notify you every time I upload a video, whether YouTube itself thinks my video is interesting or not. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my concealer contest. Will it make it through the work day? Will it make it down the aisle on my face video? All right, so I've already gone ahead and prepped my face. I use the usual, but if you don't know what the usual is, be sure to check the description box down below. I list everything that is on my face that I don't necessarily mention in my videos down there. I never film in the morning. It is literally 7 a.m. Honestly, these brights are, these brights, these lights are so bright that they're like irritating my eyes when you just wake up. But you guys have already seen my first reactions to these two concealers. If you missed out on those two videos, I will list them down below. This one I believe I used in my Ipsy January 2020 because I got it in my Ipsy box. And then this one was in my recent Sephora haul. I'm gonna be using the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Concealer on my right eye, your left. And then I'm gonna be using the Shiseido on this side, which is my left, your right. Today I just want to do a light foundation that I like, that agrees with my skin, that I'm familiar with. I'm just going to be using the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. IT Cosmetics brush, I'm going to be using the big side for foundation and the small side for my concealer. So I'm just going to put it on the brush. I try not to get makeup all over my hands and then go to work because you don't even know how many times like I work with a bunch of men and I can't tell you like how many times people have asked me like what is on your hand like on a Monday morning after filming all day Sunday and it's like eyeliner <laughs> eyeliner swatches that like won't come off from like waterproof liquid liner so when I'm like oh it's makeup they're like what what like bitch did you shower you still have makeup on your hand and it's like yeah I did shower um it's just waterproof so 
Okay, now that the foundation's on, let's move to the concealer. Again, I'm gonna be using the Morphe. Let's start out with Morphe Fluidity. I initially did not like this. If you did not see my first impressions again, you should watch the video just because there were a lot of other great products in that video. I didn't love this though. However, I liked how cushiony and soft it felt. And upon wearing it for six hours, I ended up liking it. So let's see how we feel about it today. I'm gonna get a mirror up close just to like see what I am doing. And I'm gonna put it where I usually put the concealer. And like as light as it looks in the tube, it kind of like adjusts to my skin nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a sponge because I wanna apply this as I typically apply concealer. Okay, so I have very textured under eyes. If you watch my channel, you know that already. So I'm not gonna put another layer up top because my eyes are very textured on my lid. I'm very textured underneath as well, but I need a little bit more coverage underneath. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of this and I'm just gonna put it at like the bottom of my circle like that. It blends out really nice. The coverage is definitely there. I feel like the coverage gets better as the day goes on and especially after you apply some powder. I feel like that helps mask the darkness as well. So that is the Morphe on Shiseido. This is my higher end concealer. This is 5.8 milliliters and this is 4.5 milliliters. Look how deceiving that is. Cause this one's so much bigger. 202 light slash Claire. My first reaction, I was pretty impressed right off the bat if you didn't see that. Damn it, I went in with a brush on the other side first. It's okay. I'm gonna put one more layer on the Shiseido side, just to be fair, because we did give the Morphe side an extra layer. So, you know, what's fair is fair. I wanted to go in with the brush on both of them because I think it's quite telling when a concealer can go on nicely with the brush, but they both go on very nicely with the brush. I have used this one a, a couple times before. I think this is my third time I've used this and it goes on nicely with a brush. So if you're a brush kind of gal, just know it will go on really nicely with a brush. Honestly, they both look really nice. They're not like too textured underneath my eyes. If I had to pick one right now, I would say the Morphe looks better. Honestly, this one is a little dewier. This one is definitely more matter. Dewiness shows the texture underneath my eyes, whereas the matteness doesn't because it's matte, but it doesn't like suck the moisture out of your skin. It's matte, but it's not like super drying. We still need to powder. We still need to do the rest of the face. So I will list all the products down below if you have any questions about the lipstick, the liner, the anything, it's down below. Don't worry. I organize it into sections. It will say like skin prep, face, eyes, lips, shabam. So do not fret, I got you boo. Looking at the eyes before I powder, they both are sitting in like the big lines underneath my eyes, which is fine because honestly, if you have creases, honey, like it's gonna crease. I would say as far as texture goes, I think that they're both kind of textured. Like this is like textured a little bit in here, whereas this one is textured a little in here. They're both little textured. So let's go ahead, let's stamp them out with the beauty sponge just to get rid of any of the creases because if you set the creases with powder, they're gonna be there literally all day. And just set my under eye. I'm gonna use my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I think the Morphe side looks better. And I'm gonna tell you why I think the Morphe side looks better, obviously. So I am dry in here. I'm dry very much in here on both of my eyes. The, they're both textured right here, which is okay because I'm textured. But this Shiseido one is kind of grabbing in here where I'm not so textured. It's kind of like grabbing at my bag. Whereas this one, it's not really. Like this one is more textured down here than this one but i have to say like pretty much they're very comparable i think that they're both doing a decent job like i'm impressed with both of them i just think that this one's grabbing a little bit more in here again this is a full day wear test this is only the beginning of a very long day unfortunately for me we're gonna get there we're gonna come up with the final decision i cannot wait to figure out which one we like together and i'll see you in a little bit this for two hours. 
I'm outside. I wanted to give you guys like natural lighting. Honestly, I think they look really comparable. The only difference that I will know is the feeling. Like the Morphe one feels so matte. Like it feels a little tight under my skin, but it doesn't like look too tight, but you can see like the texture, like the Shiseido one, the texture, there's so much texture here. Whereas this one, there's like a little texture, but I just feel like the texture is so much more pronounced on the Shiseido one. But right now, I kind of think that the Morphe looks good, but they both look pretty good. I mean, my bags are like, hello. They're like out today and the darkness is out today. My dark circles are out, but I'm working with what I got. I think Morphe's winning. What do you guys think? So now we're six hours in, I just grabbed my lunch. I wanted to check in with you guys and I just feel like they're really comparable. I feel like they're both really good and honestly, at this point, six hours in, I would say Morphe's winning just for the price point, Morphe side and then this is the Shiseido side. So let me know what you think. Still kind of textured on the Shiseido side, less textured on the Morphe side, so. I just feel like there's so much texture in here and like, it's just a lot. And then the Morphe side, it kind of pulled on the powder and gripped onto the powder in this section, but I feel like to remedy that, I need to put a little bit more concealer over here. I, as you saw when I applied, I put like some here, some here, and then I blended it out. I think I just needed on that second layer to bring it all the way around. So this is a little textured up here. Um, maybe I have to see if this is like an issue with baking. Maybe I shouldn't really bake as much with this Morphe one because it is more of a matte formula. But just like right here, do you see how like textured that is? It's just a lot. And then compared to here, it's not nearly as textured on the Morphe side. And this one is like a third of the price. I just realized this. I wanted to smile and show you the difference. This side is so much more textured than this side. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, yes, I have wrinkles, okay? Ignore them, please. But when I smile, it's so much smoother on this side than it is on this side, just like here. Like, it's just like, nice crinkly do you see what i'm saying let me know if you see what i'm saying okay i have a question what's the question which under eye looks better on me yeah i I'm... noticed that they were different you did yeah on the way home how did you notice do you want me to be honest yeah one is like a little bit cakey is oh. that the correct term? I can't believe you looked at me and thought my makeup was cakey. The one on the right is better. This one? Yeah. You always agree with me. Do you want to know something? something. Let's get his reaction. $9 okay. for the one that you like and $31 for the other one. Yeah, I like the one on the right a lot better. Why do you like it? Because it's not it's cakey? It's smoother and it has more of a sheen to it. Interesting. This is matte, but it's supposed. this one's but so it's smooth. Not like, it's not shiny. It right. just looks like, like it reflects light the proper way. Mm, wow, you're so good. You're like our beauty editor. My hot beauty editor. I don't know much about makeup, but... Thanks for playing. I really thought that these concealers were comparable upon application through like the four hour wear test. I thought they were pretty comparable. But now that I've been wearing this for 12 hours, the Shiseido, no. Like it is bunchy, it is so bunchy. Just the fact alone that Mike was able to tell that this eye was cakey while we were on the bus, let me tell you something. If you have never been on public transportation, specifically a bus, specifically, New Jersey Transit bus. They are dark, they are dingy, the lighting is awful. So if he could see how awful my skin was, then girlfriend, it's gotta be really bad. So all in all, I don't want to continue like bashing this, but I think we all know that Morphe killed it. I absolutely love this. However, I just, this is not worth the money and it's really sad that this is literally a third of the price. All right, so this is how close I can get you without distorting the image and it like changing different settings. 
So I don't know if you can see, but like, can you see how textured this is? Like, it's so textured. Again, this is the Shiseido side. This compared to this. This is just so much smoother. It does not look bad considering I've been wearing this for 12 hours. It did move a little bit. This one's textured too, but not nearly as textured as like this entire section. The only thing I wanna tell you is that I did notice that this is a very light color. So upon application, this is very light. However, this oxidized. It's not that light underneath my eye. Can you see? So maybe when shopping for it, go for a shade lighter than what you would typically buy because it's gonna get a little darker. That's the only like downside to the Morphe one, but it's not even a downside because when I received this, I thought it was too light and it ended up working out for me. Anywho, I think we all know who won this battle and it's definitely Morphe. So sorry to Shiseido, but this ain't worth the money. So. I hope that I saved you guys some coin. I hope that if you are interested in the Shiseido concealer, maybe you will think twice. However, everyone is different. So if you love the Shiseido concealer, you do you, keep it going, keep rocking it. And I'm jealous because you're getting your money's worth because I honestly, now that Mike said my under eye was cakey, like when am I gonna wear this? I literally spend pretty much my entire life with Mike. So I don't wanna look like a cakey mess. You always wanna look cute for Bay, And if Bay thinks I'm cakey in the dark, like what do I look like? in this kind of lighting. What do I look like in the daylight? Oh my God, no thank you. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by leaving it a thumbs up. Leave me some love in the comments, let me know. Which concealer do you think performed the best? Am I right? I can't see me not being right, but if I'm wrong, like let me know, let's talk about it, let's discuss it. I love to talk about beauty, I love to talk about makeup, and I'm always interested in other people's opinions, whether they align with mine or not. Again, if you are not yet subscribed, make sure you do that and also click the bell button before you leave because we had a great time today and why wouldn't you wanna hang out again? I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.